Hey everyone. So I promised I would do a video on shading. Um, so we, I did a video on how to do this pattern on the rock. And now I'm going to do a video um, on making a mushroom on here. And basically my techniques on shading. I have a wet palette, I call it. So it's it's moist underneath and so it keeps my colors um, in here for at least a week where I don't have to throw them out all the time. I do use a lot of these small brushes and then I even cut them to make them super uh, tiny uh, for detail work. Um, but for the mushroom, I'm going to start off with, um, I don't know the number anymore, but it's probably like a 10. Um, and I don't think I cut this one. So anyhow, it's just a little bit thicker of a brush, any, any brush that you like, but I would use a bigger one to, to get started. So then that way, um, you won't have all these little lines and stuff from the little one. So because I have a lot of color on here, I'm going to put white. Um, so I'm going to draw out my mushroom in white and let it dry. So then that way the color that I do use will pop out. Um, if you just put color on here, then it's going to have all these lines kind of in it from the background. And then the color itself won't, won't be as vibrant. Um, so you could use either white or sometimes I use um, beige because it's a thick um, color as well. And then my white, um, this one is an open white so I'm gonna mix it up with the beige um, and open means it's a little bit more mm, I guess water not watery but um, runny uh, these are I use golden paints um, and the open uh, once they have they're called open I'll give you an example of what I mean so this one is open it's slow drying um, but it also is more watered down, I guess, or runny, where this is their basic, it's non-open. So on my white and my black, I do have open on them. Uh, and I have it in a few other colors too. So anyhow, I'm just going to basically think about where I want to put uh, my mushroom. And if I want to have a lot of detail or not... I think what I will do, since this is a smaller rock, is, sorry I didn't think about it before I started this, we'll just start off here with the, with the trunk of the mushroom. I'm just going to give it some design, it's going to go up, like so. I think I'm gonna have it like that. Make sure I get in all the little grooves. So this is basically your base color. I'm sorry if I talk too much or not enough. I like to explain everything. For you. I remember when I first started painting, I looked for videos like crazy and a lot of them were that time lapse video, which doesn't explain anything, so it was kind of frustrating um, trying to watch, you know, the time lapse and try to figure out their techniques. So, anyhow, we'll start like that, and then I'll go up a little bit higher because you're going to go into the inside of the mushroom anyways and I'll, I could change the bottom if I want to um, so then I'm just gonna take and kind of draw out a line of this mushroom if you want you can pencil it in before you you paint it I think I did that with the first one and then once you have it you know down it's a lot easier to do the next ones and I think I want this one to curve a little. 
So you can have a little pointed curve on it or whatnot. Or you can even have it loop like that and just have a funky little mushroom. That's the nice thing about these is that you can kind of just go with the flow and do something fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. And it's kind of a small top, so I'm gonna make it bigger. By just adding some more on the bottom here. After I get it drawn out, I look at proportions and like, okay, we need it bigger. Most of the time it's bigger, not smaller. And if it is too big, you can always make the bottom bigger. Sorry, I'm taking forever, I feel like. But hopefully you'll paint along with me and then it won't feel like I'm taking forever. <laughs> I'm not a super fast painter like a lot of people. I think it's because I'm too much of a perfectionist. Okay, so I have it like this, but if you look at it, this is coming down, which gives the impression of um, the mushroom, you know, at an angle. So therefore there would be no inter, you know, inside painting. Um, you could do it that way, or you can just add a little bit more, like so. And then this will basically be the back of your mushroom. And then you'll have this coming up in. So with that coming up in, that puts your, let me see if I could draw a line in the color. That puts the top of your mushroom kind of like something like that. So then that way you'll paint the inside or you can even make it smaller like so. So you have your mushroom. So anyhow, that's that. And I think I'm gonna change the bottom a little bit more and just go big. Go big right here while the top is drying. I have that like so. So that's gonna be the main mushroom and then I'm gonna give it a little, I'm gonna give it a little side mushroom to make this one a little quirky over here. So it has a guest house. So it's attached. It's gonna be a little bit smaller. And then you can make this go over.
this was supposed to curve, but I messed it up. So with that, I'll fix it. It's gonna be not that bad of a fix. So how I fix them is just get your brush wet, like super wet, and then just get some of that paint off. And then I'll take it right on off of there. Because it's still wet. So it's not that not that hard of a fix. This one I use my fingers a little bit just because of the grooves. I just want to get it out of there before it gets stuck in it. And if I don't like the whole thing, I'll just do it to the whole thing. I'm not afraid to restart something. I don't like it. All right, so let me fix this one a little bit. I want it more curved, like so. It's gonna be a quirky looking one. Okay. Up like so. And then I'm going to use my smaller brush because I'm going to put a little one probably over here to give it some balance. So. And it's just gonna be a little one. Just like a little chimney, almost. And it's gotta be quirky too, because you got one, you gotta get them all that way. These little brushes are called eyeliner brushes. Um, you can get them on Amazon, and uh, they're disposable eyeliner brushes, but yeah, they come in a hundred pack um, for like 10 bucks or something really cheap, and they just work great for detail. You just got to get used to working with the smaller handle, but I mean, I honestly use them all the time. I'm gonna make this one have a little tail, like so. All right, so while that's drying, sometimes I'll give it another coat on here. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll come back and um, we will do the shading after it's done drying. Hopefully I can combine the videos. Otherwise, there'll be two videos. I'm not that um, computer smart, I guess. Just on videos. Still learning. But um, anyhow, I will come back and we will do the shading parts. I think you've seen some of my other mushrooms. Let me just show you so you could see different designs. Let me put that one aside. So you have this one, it's another quirky one. So you could, you know, make it fatter right there if you wanted to. Or, so you could do something like that. Or your other option that I've done is this one. So it's a little different. You have one, it's a little fatter on the bottom. And then you have this one going this way and you have your little chimney thing. Okay. And then you have oh, 
this one where these ones actually have steps. So you have the two in the front and then one in the back and then you have a staircase going to that one. So that's another option you can you could do. See these ones are more rounded on the top. It's a little different. And let me see if I think I have one more or two more. So this one's a little fatter too over here and a little more rounded on the top. So you have that option too for when you're making your 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 design right here. And then I have a smaller one too. Let's see what this one looks like. I don't know if it's another wacky one. I guess I like those wacky ones. So this one kind of has one going this way, one going that way, and then a little tower up here at the top, almost like a castle. So that's another option too. And you can see it's turned a little bit like how I started this one. All right. Okay, wonderful. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I will come back to you. Oh, I don't have this one anymore, but I have a magnet design. This is the one of the first ones I painted. So it's got a bunch of them. Um, and I liked how that looked with the, like it's breaking through. And then you got the curve up there, like the mushrooms ripping. Anyhow, have fun with that. Make your, get creative with here on your mushroom house. And then we will be back to do the shading.